Hello, I'm Alex. Hi Alex, I'm Johnny Ginger, I'm the Assistant Parish Clerk here at East Bedlington Parish Council. Why did East Bedlington Parish Council feel the need to upgrade the community facilities? Well, what we did as part of our um, parish planning process is we spent 27 months talking to local people in the community and asking them what they actually wanted to see in the community. We talked to people in schools, we talked to people on the doorsteps, we had a massive questionnaire which went around to all 3,970 properties in the parish, which extends not just in Bedlam Station but right across to Camus and North Lyme. Um, we asked them what they wanted, what they wanted to see, how they felt about their environment, things like litter bins, dog fouling, um, community spaces, that type of thing. We collected all that information and produced a parish plan which itself had actions in, and that's what we've used as our mandate to, to deliver our services to the community. So what are the plans for the area? Our biggest plan is the redevelopment of this building, the Spadlet and Community Centre, which these are the designs, will create a purpose-built leisure and recreation facility which will include space for three youth clubs a week. It will include a massive upstairs area, which is multi-purpose, could be used for functions, it could be used for weddings, could be used for seminars, doorstep pictures, things that are no longer exist in Bedlam Station. And it will be priced very, very competitively, so local people who have very low incomes can actually use it. Other things we've done recently is we've installed two outdoor gyms in the parish. We've installed additional seating. Has installed additional litter bins, and last year we refurbished the war memorial to not the centenary of World War One. So, how is the refurbishment going to be funded? Our refurbishment here, we've got currently a bid into Big Lottery, which in communities, which is for seven hundred and eighteen thousand pounds. We've also so I've been lucky to secure um, around about three hundred and seventy-five thousand pounds from the parish council, which will be raised by the parish precept. It's over a long period of time, so the actual cost to the taxpayer would be about 20 pence a week if you live in a Ballantyre property, which is what 80% of the properties in East Berlin actually are. Um, we've also had an application into Kiswo, which is the Coalfield Industries Social Welfare Organisation. They support former mining communities, so um, we're quite confident that we'll actually get some funding from them as well, so we'll watch this space. <laughs> So when will the refurbishment begin? If we're successful with our big lottery application, it needs to be submitted by the 17th of May. That's their absolute deadline. We're hoping to submit it at the end of April. Um, the lottery then have 12 weeks to make a decision. Um, the other funding is secure, so we're quite confident with that. Um, the very latest we'll find out is the 17th of August this year and then the build will be 26 weeks if we're successful, so hopefully by this time next year, Easter 2016, it'll be up and running. But we're very hopeful that we might find out a bit sooner. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for your time.